upright relax learn to relax and be attentive pay attention <coughs> did you notice the mind what is it doing most of the time chatter and more chatter <coughs> chattering that is what the mind is doing that is how a lot of subtle energy is lost in this constant chatter we acknowledge it we do not justify it saying that in the world we have to live therefore mind has to chatter etc we don't condemn it saying that the mind has become an enemy a tormentor etc we just acknowledge it the mind is constantly chattering that is an important step forward that acknowledgement did you ever when you are alone try to find out what the mind is doing please try it when you are alone you check what the mind is doing what is it that it is thinking about watching the mind when you are alone watching the mind or trying to watch the mind you just try try to watch the mind and if you fail try again trying to watch the mind is the all important thing watching the mind is fun game it is not a struggle controlling the mind is a struggle we are not controlling the mind we don't have any particular agenda for the mind 
We are just watching the mind. In order to understand the mind. That is very fun game, very amusing it is. The most interesting thing is, when you watch the mind, or even when you try to watch the mind, mind becomes quiet. That is an interesting observation useful observation. That also tells something about the power of watching. The mind, which is otherwise vagrant, becomes quiet when I try to watch the mind. That is power. And as I watch the mind, as it becomes uh, silent, quiet, more or less, more or less, What is left? When the mind is quiet, what is left? Don't try to say nothing is left. One may say like that, but we don't say that. When the mind mind becomes quiet, we don't say nothing is left. We say, I am left. Aham asmi. That aham let us take it for the present as Atma. Therefore, as I identify with the mind. Get excited when the mind is excited. Get sorrowful when the mind is sorrowful. That is bondage. No freedom in it. And I remain ignorant of the Atma. But when I watch the mind, or even try to watch the mind, The mind becomes more or less quiet. And then leave it quiet. Don't allow it to be disturbed. Or don't disturb it. 
just leave it quiet. Then I have entered into a higher dimension of witnessing awareness. The Sakshi Bhavaha. And as the witness, I am not bound. Boundless I am. And also timeless I am. As the mind becomes quiet, I enter into the timeless dimension of the witness. And remain so, remain as the witness which is the pure awareness. That is Atma Nishtha. That is meditation. Relax. Sit at ease and relax. And open the eyes slowly.